this is not exactly a super new feature, but it's recent. It was released, uh, I don't know, a few a few weeks ago. But uh, I'm aware of it. I know what it is, but I never used it. And I went into this super deep rabbit hole because I thought, well, if I'm going to talk about it on the channel, maybe learn. It's an opportunity to learn. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so if you know, you know. For those who don't know, it's a markup language. It's, you can use it to create those sophisticated math formulas, but you can go way beyond that. For example, you can even create uh, PowerPoint style presentations, documents, not with the one Evernote is uh, the Evernote's implementation, but LaTeX support that. So uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you already know, and let me show you how to use it. If you don't know, maybe try to learn it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's okay. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> so here's how you use it. Go to the insert menu and select formula. You see this box here. See, see, this is an example of a formula that you can write, and this will be converted into a more textbook style formula. So let's write this one, for example. Uh, I can write e to I don't know, to x. And then we have something like this. So you can create those very sophisticated equations, whoops, like this one here, and write them here. However, Evernote's variation is only for math, like I, I told you before, and it's based on KTAC. So if you, I'll leave the links uh, in the description below. So if you are a LaTeX user, I suggest taking a look at this. Probably you already know about this. And this is where you'll find all the symbols that you can use. And because I escaped from that super deep rabbit hole, that's it for this one. I'm not going to learn this. I already have too much on my plate. <laughs> anyway, if you want to learn about it, you'll find some links in the description below. And if this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.